So now I'm in the area that I really love being in. Whether it's the fall or whether it's the summer, this is just a beautiful area to be in. Uh, I don't know if you can get a real good idea of what this is like on camera, but it's definitely one of my favorite areas. So let's head over to the spot now that I want to uh, take a picture of, or a few pictures, to use as inspiration for my next uh, painting experiment in gouache. So here we're looking at the view that I've chosen. Uh, normally I insert trains into a lot of my pictures because I'm a huge railroad fan, but I think this time I'm just going to use it as it is. I just want to show you the tools that I used to work on this particular piece. So first we're going to start with the paper. It was just regular watercolor cold pressed paper uh, that you can pick up at any art store. Next, I used my graphite pencil. The inks are done with these Pigma uh, Micron pens and the sizes that I'm using are 005, 0103, and a brush tip like that one. And then finally for the paints themselves, I'm using these Reeves gouache paint. And then finally my brush, I'm using this brush here. I believe this is a sable brush. So that's it. That are That's all the tools that I use to create this paint. Oh, and tea. I just really used the photograph that I took as a basic reference. Uh, I'm not trying to recreate that photograph in watercolor at all. Um, you know, I just kind of take elements from that photograph and I, I usually do a lot of modifications to those elements as well, like trees. Normally with trees, I really like to add more curves to them, make them a little more gnarled looking, um, more branches, things like that. I might mess around with the shading and the bark texture. So once again, the photograph is really only there as a reference. So once I get all my basic lines down with the pencil, uh, I start going back over them with the Pigma pens and adding in ink. So what I'm really trying to go for here is more of an Arthur Rackham feel, not a true watercolor painting. I'm basically looking at an illustration with some watercolor washes. Um, very, very, very faint colors put in so that the black lines really get to show through. Because uh, that's how I like to see my texture and my art is almost like that comic book style, I guess you could call it. So now I get to start applying the watercolor. And uh, as you saw there, I used a little bit of a test sheet to, you know, just kind of get my hand a little more used to the uh, the brush strokes that I want to use. Um, I do that a couple times before actually diving onto the final work. Just, you know, it's just kind of give me a point of reference of how I want my hand to move and how I want the brush to move across the paper. So as you see here, now I'm getting right into the watercolor itself, but it's not really doing the wash that I had intended to. Uh, I did apply the paint much too heavy, um, too many layers. I mean, it's it ended up looking fine, which I, I'm happy about, but it's not really the kind of style I was going for. But this is all just part of an experiment, and there's always the next time. So that's kind of the process of how I built this painting up from the original photograph into the finish. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe found it a little bit useful or just like to see a little bit of behind the scenes of how I work. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now.